YouTube faithful. Just like yesterday, the, the thumbnail is 100% accurate. Yesterday was 47X. Today we're opening with 97X. I'm going to give you a brief intro from my boy Gold Locks in a little bit. But for now, look at the surgery. Look at the master class. This wasn't the only demon slip that cashed, by the way. There was a plethora. There was many. This was 97X. A handful of us got it in. You got to be locked in. You got to be plugged in. Live streams hitting every time i run them they hit it's that simple we're really doing this around here so get in the mix that's your intro for the day so youtube faithful smash the like button hit the subscribe button if you've been cashing in these videos the last four or five videos have been absolutely cinema you don't believe me go back and watch it and tell me when i'm telling lies yesterday absolutely cooked connor joe's demon taylor ward charlie blackman rangifo Cabrera, Michael Wacha, and a splash of Waldron. You can cash it all because it was a master class. Oh, and let's not bury the lead. Bobby Witt, play of the day, cash it. Why? Because while you guys are twiddling your thumbs and doing Lord knows what, I'm in the books, I'm in the numbers trying to find a way to cash my cord and tube faithful. Bet on it, bank on it, screenshot it, don't care. So, what do we got for today? Well, the MLB slate today is broken up. Unfortunately, I hate when they do this. These are my worst return on investment days. That's ROI. Whenever they have like three or four morning games and then two afternoon games and then the late window games, I usually don't do well because I'm trying to provide content for all those games to accommodate all the schedules and all it does is shell me so i did a couple for the early games i tried to stay light but i also am waiting for the live stream for the late window that will be my bread and butter i think we have five games from there but the first guy that i'm going to talk about is the thumbnail and that is the man the myth the legend dylan sees now he just threw a master freaking class a no hitter baby and what have i told you guys i said it with waldron i said it with the strohs pitchers the dodgers trend right now is they're striking out a lot. So you can target the Dodgers strikeout individual stats, the lineups over half a strikeout, 1.5 on certain of the demons. Absolutely. But you can also target pitchers versus them, no matter who the pitcher is. Like yesterday, Waldron, cash it, sweat free. Man, I think he got six and his line was foe. So what are we doing with Cease? Well, he's an elite pitcher. In fact, he's in the 97th percentile of pitchers. Now you can see here with Dylan Cease, his whip, his walks plus hits per inning is 0.98, a good whip whip is 1.02 or better he's below one that puts him in an absolute top tier pitcher in the mlb sale cease these are the type of guys with low whips he's in the 97th percentile for strikeouts 93rd percentile for whip earned run 65 percentile which means he's not giving up a lot of earned runs you can see what i'm telling you about the dodgers over the last 30 days they're striking out they're ranked 16th they are striking out a lot it's a little trend they don't strike out overall they're ranked ranked ninth overall but in the last 30 days they've been striking out so i will continue to go back here you give me an elite pitcher i don't like the line at eight that is true i don't like the line at eight I don't want to ask a guy to get nine. In fact, I would tend to take under on eight strikeouts, but you can even see here on June 15th, he didn't even play a full six innings and he dealt 10 strikeouts right down the middle of the plate. Bang, one, two, three, have a seat, Otani. I'm talking to you, Freddie, Otani, sit down. The man deals. It's that simple. You might as well think he works in Vegas casinos because he's on that mound dealing and I ain't talking cards. So we're asking to get his range of outcomes. I told you guys yesterday, these are the things you need to do for MLB. Oh, Kev, MLB sucks. No, it doesn't suck. It's my most profitable sport right now, believe it or not, until NFL rolls around. But the fact is, it's because you don't take the time to learn. Like any hobby, like any new skill in life, you have to put in the effort. If you're not taking the time to learn, you're not watching Crush's videos, you're not watching other videos, you're not doing your research on the side, you don't deserve to win. You don't because you're not putting in the time. I have no patience or tolerance for people that just want to be handed stuff because you're entitled. You are entitled to nothing but L's. You have to find a way to get W's. But his range of outcomes, you can see it's anywhere between, on average, six to eight okay he has a ceiling of 10 his true ceiling is going to be 10 you can see he has outlier games of 12 and 11 his floor is going to be six you can see that he has five but if you average all the rest of them his true four will his true floor will be five but i'm going to go ahead and say that it's six because of all the sevens and eights 
So the range of outcomes tonight is six to eight, in my opinion. Can he throw nine, 10, 11, 12? Absolutely. You throw in the fact that the Dodgers strike out a lot recently, you can bump the range of outcomes to seven to 10 if you want. Whatever two you decide on, that's how you can decide if you're taking the Gabi, the Demon, if you're taking less. It's all about that. Find the range and go from there. Just like poker, baby. So I would tend to lean less at eight, especially if the line's eight and a half, I would for sure take less, but I won't be surprised if he throws nine or 10 Ks. What I'm doing is this fam. What Captain Crush is doing is this. Okay. Let me cook. I'm taking over six and a half, the Gobby line. Oh, oh Cap's giving out another Gobby. <laughs> Cap gives out demons and Gobbies alike. I'm not a respecter of persons. If there's value, if I like it, I take it. I don't care. Know your role. Get off my back tired of carrying you anyway six and a half k's for a gobby is absolutely fine there's going to be another school of thought when it comes to mr cease and i'm gonna cover it don't worry i always give two sides of the coin so the gobby at six and a half my other gobby that i like is his gobby gobby out 17 and a half you can see head to head last time he threw 10 k's but didn't get a full six innings which would be 18 outs but look at his last 20 the man usually goes six innings but if he comes out tonight and he's got the yips because he just threw a master class no hitter i could see him only going 4.55 innings and that's the other side of this coin fam if you think he's gonna get shelled tonight because he just gave up a no hitter the play would be his hits allowed demon at 4.5 i believe his hits allowed demon is 4.5 let's go check yes if you think i'm telling you guys right now they don't have an earned run props but if you think think that he's going to go out there tonight and you want to take the other side of this coin. I'm giving you two narratives. The narrative is the Dodgers strike out a lot recently. He's a master class pitcher. I gave you the whip. I gave you the earned runs allowed. I gave you the strikeouts per nine. He crushes. He's in the 97th percentile. This would be the move. His Gobby K's. That's my favorite. Second favorite pitching out. I'm going to have exposure to both of those. That's me crush. Now the other side of that coin, and I will have an exposure to this just as a slight hedge 4.5 hits allowed. If you think he's going to go out there and he's going to absolutely fall apart and crumble with a case of the yips this is the one you would take this is where the value would be model has him at around 4.76 it's close it's going to be right here and there his gobby hits allowed for sure is in play if you can find it at 3.5 oh 2.5 hits allowed this 100 is most likely a great play. I'm not going to say it's 100% hitting, but you 100% should have exposure to this because two and a half hits, he's given up three hits most likely, fam. The range is going to be two to five. I like it. I think it's hitting. I didn't even see that before, but I think that one's hitting. I gave you my opinion on him. And Kershaw on the other side, Padres don't strike out a lot. It's a bad matchup, but look what Glass now was able to do yesterday. Kershaw's nowhere near Glass now, but he's a decent pitcher, so you could take the combo. You could literally have Cease carry with nine to 11 strikeouts okay even if he only gets eight and then kershaw comes in with four that would cash or let's say kershaw gets five dylan gets eight dylan gets seven anything like that would cash you that would be fine too and speaking of kershaw beat dylan cease to death he is the thumbnail i've told you both sides of the coin you choose captain crush ain't here to put the spoon in your mouth i'm here to help your process fella and ladies there's a few of you in the mix kershaw at 3.5 the de facto trap line now because of the matchup and because he's kershaw it is low but can he get 4ks absolutely he can get 4ks it's gonna be a sweat most likely i could see him taking four innings but i don't mind having exposure to it it is gonna be popular it is the trap line but that's all i got to say about that now unfortunately by the time this video comes out there's a lot of plays and picks that i like that i won't be able to discuss because they're gonna be already going off but remember what i came on here yesterday and told you guys about the hitters whenever they're at 1.5 and they're stud pitchers in good matchups they're automatically in play they're called plug plays so you take your 1.5 hits runs are RBI's plug play darts you mix and match them with your other plays aka your pitchers your strike your pitcher strikeouts your earned runs whatever and you mix them around and then you can land on a wall of green which I will show you momentarily but Ktel Marte my wagon my demon slip cashier connoisseur 2.5 hits runs RBI's he's on an absolute heater his demons only at 2.5 I'm going right back to the well I do not care I am going right back to the well and I will ride that train until I'm forced 
stop, fam. He has been cashing me demon slips religiously. He sold me 300x a week or two ago, like I showed you on this channel. But ever since then, he's been smashing. And I will continue to go right back to him. And my favorite spot is to go to hitters who sold and go back and attack them the absolute next day. Connor Joe at 1.5 hits runs RBIs. I tell you guys, it's always in play as a demon. Cash it yesterday. I gave it to you. You can go right back to it. Ohope, Ohape, if you will. He was DNP yesterday. He's playing this matchup. He's in play again. But my favorite, just like yesterday, I gave it out. Taylor Ward going right back to him. All these Angels, all these Rockies are in play. It's just a good matchup. The pitchers aren't scaring anyone. You can go right back to them, okay? Brent Rooker gave you him, gave you his demon. Now it's a regular line. You can go right back to it. And these Giants hitters sold everyone yesterday, okay? The Fitzgeralds of the world, the Matt Chapmans of the world. And that's because J.P. Sears threw 9Ks or 10Ks and just absolutely had a master class. Nobody saw that coming, but you can go right back to him. Tyler Fitz, his demon, or his gobby. These guys are in prime bounce back spots. Today, the pitch is a lot worse it's Ross Stripling and in fact I like Stripling's 2.5 earned runs allowed the model has him getting roughly 2.7 so it's a 0.2 differential I will take my shot is it going to be a sweat it's always a sweat when you take earned runs most of the time his hits allowed at four and a half even six and a half is in play I expect these Giants to bounce back and hopefully come around and cash for us but again I normally give out my demon plays in the live streams for a reason one that is when all the closing lines are settled and I can do my best thinking and two it's just smart business sense for me to do that in the live streams it increases engagement it helps people get hyped I mean there's only so much I can do in a 10 minute 15 minute YouTube video fam everybody already gets mad that my videos are long as it is I mean what do you want me to do now I will say this when you're looking at these earned run demon props today or whenever you're looking at them in general Logan Webb he could give up three runs I don't know how much of that I would have exposure to but that's could be in play Zach Gallon at 2.5 they could bounce back the Nationals could bounce back they just got absolutely embarrassed it could happen it's obviously a demon for a reason but these are things I go over in the live streams and help you guys and there will be more of them given out on the live stream today as well as normal plays and everything else and why should you be in that live stream because looky looky at the green beans it's not even just the live stream I give these out in my cord the projection sheets cash this cash that cash it look at this this was given out in the live stream literally all you had to do was click copy Bobby's hitter fantasy sold the only reason we went to his fantasy is because they took off 2.5 hits runs RBIs and that was the only thing left so we put it in as you can see it was the last leg his play of the day was the 2.5 it did cash over half a hit gobby cash but the fantasy sold and that was only shoehorned in as the last leg we should have just left it off we couldn't get the one that we liked and we shoehorned it in cost us 10x but hey 2x is still hitting cash this I mean this is going to take forever look at these these demon slips are so good that they still paid out 1.5x okay as you can see bobby hooked cannon just absolutely got lucky this hit these were given on the tube another one from the live stream 1.5x four for six but if you mix and match them into smaller lit contests like i say you can cash cash this for a crispy 5x actually no that was 10x because tovar cashed cash this demon mix match that i did cash this for 10x back to square one but as you can see i mean do i have to pull them all up they all cashed man we are absolutely crushing in the live streams this was a pure 25x as you can see the core four Ktel, rangifo tovar elder waldron and brown brown tovar rangifo and Marte were my core four plug and play pitchers around them bang cash it baby I'm surgical around here. 25X, all the X's, all of them. I got them all. And I've been doing this for seven days straight. Right when I brought back the live streams, it's been an absolute masterclass. Mark's World has bought into the system. He's cashing. D Ward is cashing. Gouda Breeze is cashing. Zaddy J, Zaddy J tailed the 97X and got $970 for his troubles. Cash it. And this wasn't even all the cash. 90% of the core just forgets to post under winning slips. It's cinema. They just flood the general 
general chat. But this is why you need to be in the live streams. This is why you need to be in my Discord. I give you projection sheets each and every day that are just like this, okay? You can make your reads. You can use it to get in value even if I'm not at my computer. People did it today, Cash. I do it every day in Cash. I use it on the live stream. Know your roles and get in the mix. And to assist you in that, I did a promo. CaptainCrush.net, scroll down. Gold package now. First time users only. You can get $10 off. It's promo code DEMON in all caps. D-E-M-O-N. And you can see it'll get you $14.99 for your first month. You're going to get your coin back and then some. Not only from lineups and slips and everything else, but from what I'm going to teach you in the live stream content alone, the projection sheets, everything else. Get in the mix. Here's a message from my boy Gold Locks, who was put the link out for me for the lineup, paired them together. YouTube, Gold Locks, and you are not seeing things. Look at this. 97x yes this is not fake news this is not some i didn't go and uh how you call it and and and, and photoshop nothing look at this 97x captain crush just went ham and the day before yesterday he recashed a 47x but unfortunately i didn't play that slip look at this who else i mean good lord almighty and i almost put 20 on this almost by chicken out so if this not if this doesn't give you a reason to join the court i don't know what else you have to be on that live stream man have to be on that live stream here he is that's what he has to say it's real now my method is a very analytical approach okay i do use gut calls in my own ball knowledge but i use dg to shop the odds very quickly compare it to my model and then i go from there it's a three-step process and i love my process i believe in it and if you guys buy in too you will also be great eventually so you got valdez here under 39 fantasy points you can see the three point discrepancy otani under nine what do i always tell you guys about fantasy scores with pitchers and batters they're the highest variance thing so you can make the case to fade him or go with the davis daniel over 5ks if you like that you could go to my projection sheet compare it and if you see him at 5.8 you know he has push equity you could take it whatever arizona under first inning runs is being juiced minus 125 as you can see prize picks doesn't have a lot of value here for us today it's unfortunate but hey we've been on such a heater that it's okay but tyler fitzgerald seven and a half fantasy just had a dud yesterday i said He's in a bounce back spot. We're seeing that we get a little bit of a 0.5 difference in our favor on prize picks. I'll go ahead and take it over there. Kershaw and Cease, 11 and a half. I talked about that. Kirby at five. He was at five and a half, which was juiced under. Now he's at five. You can get push equity. Logan Ohape. I didn't even know. I talked about it though. 1.5. I didn't even know he was minus 130. You can go right to him. Same thing with Chapman. Same thing with Ward. I didn't even know that these guys were on here, man. Ward, Chapman, and Ohape at 1.5 were already in play. You tell me that they're being favored minus 130 on DraftKings and FanDuel, and I'm in the mix. It's no question. Ktel Marte over half a run. Oh, wee. Touche, as they say. But you can see here, sometimes there's value, sometimes there's not. But you can switch it off MLB and go on to all of them. And look at the esports value, you DGENs. This is the best way to do esports. I don't care what any of these kids tell you. The hydros of the world, the this and that of the world. Nah, what I'm telling you is odd shopping is the best way, okay? It just is. It's a proven method. That is why these get moved so fast. So you can go on there and you can see it. But I will say this. LeBron James points over 16. He's 15 and a half, 16 and a half. I'll take a shot on it. Edwards, one and a half, three pointers made. I already locked that in. Drew Holiday, under eight and a half, sure. Booker, over eight and a half, why not? Get some Olympic value in your system. And then if you go over to Underdog, let's make a contest live like I did yesterday. Cash it, by the way. I believe they have some discounted squares for the Olympics, my actually. But you can see here, LeBron's 16 and a half on Underdog, but he's 16 over here. Now this starts in five minutes, so this will be useless, but these two will be good. We'll see how they do. I'm going to lock it in over there, but there's not much we can do. We have to stick to baseball for this particular video. So gallon under 33 and a half. Oh yeah. I think that would be good, but I think he might get the win because they've been playing so good, but I don't like gallon today. Personally, I'm going to take a shot on his demon earned runs. Kirby under 33 and a half, man. Look at all the esports value, dude. If I actually took the time to mess with esports, I, I'm telling you guys, I do NBA, MLB, NFL, PGA, WNBA. I just don't have the time or the care to worry about esports. One day, years down the road, when I'm big enough and can hire other people, I'll look into esports and start crushing that too. But 
for now, it's just odd shot plug and play. That's all you need to do, okay? Over the end, your graph will be green. All right, so for the sake, we can get underdog on Ketel Marte. I like to call him Kettle, like the Kettle calling the pot black. We can take him right there, bang. And then let's just go down the list and do the EV. So Valdez, which I think Valdez is gonna have a good game today, but let's just say under 38.5. And then what was the other one? If we're just going down the list, Zach Gallen. Okay, we'll see how it does. 10 to win 63 yesterday's hit so let's go back let's keep in Cato and then we'll take some that I like we'll pair him up with somebody that I like let's see oh yeah pro far over half a strikeout yes sir Duran over two hits runs RBIs oh yeah I'll take a shot on that Kirby over two and a half earned runs allowed minus 124 what's the model have for him I forget you see here Ward is a gobby over here it's only 0.95x it's a normal line on prize pick oh hot Bays is a normal line do they have a uh, Tovar on here still yep 1.5 there Duran's at two hits runs rbis we have push -hack. remember you can flex these you don't have to take the exact lineup make sure you flex it mix mix and match like i'm gonna have Ktel ward in a two-man then tovar with Ktel and duran etc i'll go ahead and flex it so any of combination of these guys and then we'll do one two-man let's do a three-man stud one there we go the three-man studs and then one two-man with tovar and him bang i like that so mix and match however you want and put those in or don't Co pro promo code crush on underdog will get you your deposit match get you a free square and get you 30 days of my discord if you send me that email sucker you gotta send me the email so i know so there's the value on dg code crush 25 percent off your first month you can't beat it with a stick and if we go back over here to prize picks remember you can get value on chalkboard sleeper parlay play as well and i have codes for all of them code crush same discount supply links in the description i will be having a public live stream friday on on dub clubs platform where you can come in you don't have to be a subscriber you can see if you like it and you like the you like the way i do things hop in the mix if you don't like it hop out of the mix either way get in the mix it'll be friday at around 4 45 i will keep you posted on that now real quick let me see if there's anything else nope that pretty much covers it top to bottom remember promo code demon all caps on my dub club gets you in new members for 15 for your first month i'm giving it away i appreciate you coming in and stopping by the pirates are gonna crush tonight let's go pirates let's go crush community let's get this bag here's the salute and as always my brothers and sisters in christ let's crush